level level. <sighs> it's eight o'clock and I'm still working in the apartment. Shower rod, because we didn't want to put a wall up here and darken the bathroom. So new toilet. Extra low, extra low consumption colder, $149. I gotta get a new fill tube. This one, the old one I had was a smidge too short. Just a smidge. Been working here since 10 o'clock this morning. Just misses. So, sink. Couldn't get the P-trap or S-trap, whatever it is, to hook up. So I got this rubber one from Lowe's for five bucks. And it sure makes things easy because you can't get in the back of these bloody sinks to tighten it and the little extension tube was too short. I could have got a longer one. I just got this rubber one because it simplifies things. I don't have a joint over here. I got a rubber P-trap with a clamp and I got it clamped over here and I got it clamped over there and got the water hooked up. I'm just going to put a bead of silicone underneath here because it's a bit wobbly. There. A little love tap. It'll sink into place. I got a couple of screws on either side. It's hard to get in there. Run the screws down. I got screws. Got the toilet bolted to the floor. I always bolt my studs to the flange and I put a little line across the top so I know which way the stud goes because it's rectangular. So then I took some measurements for my new shower rod and I'm off by an eighth of an inch. Pretty good, huh? So I didn't need this coupler, but I got it anyways. I could have just spun this piece on after or whatever. It's done. There. Now I'll take my bubble level. We'll see if all my measuring got it level and plumb. Off by a fraction there. way for oh, real close and this one pretty darn close so I'll have to get a piece of fancy maybe a piece of oak here come over the edge now I've just got a piece of flooring left over southern yellow pine flooring or fur whatever it is and I gotta put the trim back on and trim this a bit but whatever all right, sink is done, toilet just needs a fill pipe, which I may have. Now, my guys didn't make the hole big enough, so I gotta Dremel this. And this Dremel is gonna cook, baby. And that hole's not lined up. I gotta Dremel that a little bit. Wish they would've made that bigger. This Dremel's gonna freaking load up with glue. I gotta get to my screw holes, and I got a plate that goes in there. Might be easier to use a keyhole saw. And that's what I've been doing. I'm going to put a piece of trim on the edge of this, flush with the edge of that floor flange. $11 each for those made in China floor flanges. But this is a solid curtain rod. You can swing from it. <laughs> I don't like those freaking chintzy ones. I hate them. They swing and screw them up and they're just freaking junk. I could have put another T over here and teed it to the ceiling, but I didn't think it would need it. It's solid as a rock. Now that's your shower curtain. Just have to get a two shower curtains, one that goes to there and one that goes to there. The tenants are already moved in and I've got to get some plumbing hooked up here. Get her done. <laughs>